Welcome to our first Pinty's Pub Chat with Pete of the new curling season. I have Ryan Fry, John Epping of Team Epping. Gentlemen, how are you? Great, how happy are you? to be here. Great start to the season so far. You've already picked up two wins. You've moved up to number two in the world. You had a lot of success with your old teams. What caused you guys to put your team together? And before you answer, just tell the truth, because I already know the truth. I'll know if you're lying, and nobody watches this anyways. Well, limited options. <laughs> That's one of them. Who reached out to who? Wow, that's good. Uh, well, you know, I was uh, I was working in Calgary for a bit, uh, and so we had a chance to practice during the season, get ready for our our old team with our old teams. Yeah. And you know, just I guess kind of had the conversation maybe just after the Briar. I manifested it like a couple of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been bugging me for a long time. So uh, was it tough for you? You played nine years with Team Jacobs. Close seven years. So good, re good research, huge Pete. Huge success. You told me nine. <laughs> You won a gold medal, you won Grand Slam titles. Yeah. Um, what was that like uh, having to tell the guys you were moving on? Uh, it, was, it was pretty amicable. Like we, we ran its course, the team ran its course, and I think every one of us knew it. So it was, uh, it wasn't, it was, there was no hardship, no, no animosity towards one another. We just made the decision. Um, you know, we knew pretty early in the season that this was going to be our last. So it was more just, uh, playing it out and seeing what happened throughout the season and then uh, having that conversation with John and being able to see John in Calgary quite a bit throughout uh, last season, it became pretty evident that that's who I, what, the direction I wanted to go in and I just had to see if John wanted to go that way as well. Lucky. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, a lot of people would think with uh, some of the off-ice stuff that happened last year, that would cause a rift. But you're still really tight with the guys. They came down to your wedding. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's yeah. It, they we're all still really close friends, and I think that I think that's the case with most of the people on tour. To be honest with you, like we're all we're all pretty tight knit group. So, but the the guys have you know we remain pretty close. We're not as close as we once were, that's for sure. But um, it was nice to have them uh, you know stand in my wedding and have that bookend to uh, to a pretty cool seven years. And what's it like uh, having a? You're very good friends. People probably don't know that, but no, you two, you yeah. guys have been friends forever. What's it like having a new third? Matt's got a real new role on the team now. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. I think so far. Win winning's easy. Right? <laughs> yeah, when it's yeah. winning, it's easy. It's when it's when we hit our tough, our tough, uh, maybe a tough couple of losses here or there. It, it's going to test uh, maybe test our resilience a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been an easy transition for Matt. Matt's really come out of his shell in the last couple of years. And uh, I think it was an easy transition for him to go to second. And Langer's got such great touch and feel. Uh, and so for him to play lead, I think, is an easy fit. And yeah, so far, so good. You said Matt's come out of his shell. Who talks less, Matt, Cam, or Ryan Harden? <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough question. After a couple of uh, beers, they both talk quite a bit. Yeah. Um, word for word in a day, I would say they're both ravaging around 100, 150. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, that's most of the words they know. So, uh, John, I get a question here from Wayne Madaw. He wants to know who is your favorite curling roommate on the road? Oh, wow. Uh, you're, you're supposed to answer him. Wow. I led yeah, you right there. I know, I know. Wait, well, Wayne is my, he's, he's, he wants to say this because he knows he's my favorite curler of all time. That's where you got your start on tour. You yeah. used to play second for Wayne Madaw. I did. Although I played I play with Mike Harris for a year too. So that was, that was, that was pretty fun. Yeah, One of the smartest guys I know. I was doing no, not really. really. No, no. Is that the commentator? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've been Wayne, with Wayne. Yeah, Wayne was a black. Three years with Wayne, John Mead, and Scott Bailey. I was just surrounded by greatness. And uh, Wayner, Wayner and I were roomies because uh, one weekend in um, we were in Winnipeg, and and both uh, both John and Scott's wives came out uh, and stayed. So I had to room with Wayne, and we we won. So that means. You of course, once you got to stick with that, and sadly we stuck for it for three years. Yeah, and you decided to leave. What made you go out and? I mean, Wayne's arguably one of the greatest curlers of all time. Yeah. Did you feel it was time you moved on? Not only did you move on, but you stole one of his best friends, Scott Bailey, to join <laughs> your your new team. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was ready. I was ready to to go out and skip, and I think Scott was ready for a change too, to to go in and maybe play third. And he's such like Scott can play any position. He could have yeah. skipped. Like he's he's one of the most talented uh, talented guys ever. Um, let's get away from curling a little bit here. We're going to talk off ice. Ryan, you're actually here. You're building a house. You're flipping a house. Just for background, and you say I don't do, do the research. Yeah. You've never really had a job in your life <laughs> other than, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but you used to work for a golf course in Newfoundland, which you were fired for 
because you double booked a wedding. Is this a true story? That, that's all true, yeah. All that is true. Good research. Good research, Good research there. Research. Outside of that, you never really work. Now you're flipping a house. What's involved in that, having to work for a living here? Um, this it's it's good. I've I've worked. Have like you? I've I've worked. Like that's like saying, have you worked, Pete? <laughs> like this is hey, this your job? This interview's about you two, not me. <laughs> no, um, no, I've I've had a couple of jobs here and there, but you know, curling's predominantly been my um, you know my main focus. But it's just something I wanted to do. It seems the the talent that they had on HGTV didn't seem that good to me. So <laughs> I was like, if this could happen, I'm pretty sure I can make it happen. Hey, so. You got a better hairline than Mike Holmes, so, so you're we'll good. See. They should have filmed your last three days. They should have. Yeah. They would have had to do a lot of bleeping out. But it's been a, you know, it's been a good, uh, good experience so far. We'll see if I make any, uh, see if I'm able to sell the house. But yeah. um, anyone looking for a place in Oxbridge? Ajax. Ajax. Yeah, there's that research again, yeah. Pete. Yeah, it's, it's one in the, it's one in the same. Yeah. Mr. That, Epping, we're cutting you off now. Yeah. What are you doing away from the game right now? You're busy. You're coaching in China. Yeah. So I'm, I'm. In the game a lot. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been on the ice 365 days of the year. Yeah. So I'm coaching with China. Uh, I'm working with one of their developmental programs. So I, 20 athletes, non-curlers, and and they've asked me to make them uh, as good as good as I can I can make them. And yeah, I'm working with Shannon Clybrink right now. Yeah, so. Shannon's great. Oh, uh, it's been a blast. And are you trips. over in China much? Yeah, I've been a couple times. We've been in Switzerland and a lot of a lot of time in Calgary. Okay. And then obviously I have a I have a, I have a beer. Uh, I was going to ask about. Yeah, uh, we got so, the ad here, Epic Ale. Yeah, so I'm partnered with Leslie or a brewery in Leslieville called Radical Road. Yeah. And uh, together we've uh, we've got a signature beer, Epic Ale. It's great. I've had the Epic Ale. I was at the beer launch. Yes. It's great stuff. So everybody out there should give it a try. Please, please. They're also uh, one of our sponsors. Yes. Yeah. yeah Radical Road. Yeah. They spawn, yeah. Great, great supporters of curling. And so I'm gonna get you to answer this question about the Fry family. Okay. okay. Married to Jess. Yeah. Really overachieved. They're a good friend of your husband Tom's. Yes. 1,018 followers on Instagram. One of them has. The other one has 1,800. Which would have more followers, Ryan or Jess? Oh, it's got to be Jess. It's actually Ryan. What? And I don't follow Ryan, but I do follow Jess for okay. obvious reasons. <laughs> but they have a dog, Kevin. Kevin has 11,800 followers on Instagram. What's it like to have a dog that has 10,000 more followers than you? He doesn't even talk to me anymore. His head's gotten so big. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite embarrassing. Um, no, Jess, uh, Jess loves, uh, loves seeing what she can do with the social media. She's pretty amazing with it. She, her and Tom um, help run our both of our uh, social media. I think they and, love each other more than they love us. Well, they see each other sure. more than you oh, see them. Oh, yeah. yeah they're, sure. they're good friends. And yeah, I think we could just probably buy one house together and the four of us there. They love, they love, they love each the other. If the prices keep going up in Toronto, might it might be to. reality. Yeah, I get a chance yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John, you're in the Men of Curling yes. calendar. Who are you raising money for? Uh, LGBT Youth Line. Okay. So supporting uh, supporting young uh, young gay people that uh, that need to call in and, and need some help. So it's uh, it's been a blast. What a, what a great opportunity for me to give back. Yeah, I saw the picture. Yeah. I don't want to give away too much, but you're and naked. They, yeah, I am naked. And you have a a really big water ski. Was it was it cold that day in July? Unseasonably cold? No, it wasn't. No, it no. was great. It was great. Thank you. You look yeah. great. What did you do to get ready for that shoot? Uh, I didn't eat anything. <laughs> yeah, didn't yeah. eat anything. Yeah. Final no, question. What, what did you that. pay? Don't, I don't recommend <laughs> it, but I didn't eat much. What did you pay no. for the photoshopping? What's that go for? Oh wow! No, that was all natural, no, and my husband it. took the pictures. Send so me the ab workout. You I want need it? That. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Well, guys, you've had a great start uh, to the season. I wish you all the best this year. You're two of the good ones in the game. And uh, thank you for joining us on uh, Pinchy's Pup Chat with Pete. Thanks, Thanks so Pete. much. Thanks.